Serge and I sold our $60,000 to $70,000 a month window cleaning company. It was the first business we ever started. I'm gonna tell you exactly why we did it and what's to come. Yes, it's true. We did sell the 60 to 70K a month window cleaning company and we actually sold it on the fifth year anniversary, the exact day from when we started the company with only $150. This is literally the business that took Sergio and I from broke college students with $153 in our bank account to selling over 1.3 million in window cleaning services during the tenure that we actually ran the business. This was five years of blood, sweat, tears, 16 hour days, employees crashing into trucks, things going wrong, waking up really early, getting the truck set up, ready to go for the team. Just an absolute grind over the last five years of building this thing. From building the window cleaning business and just starting with $150 to building a house cleaning company that my mom can run remotely from anywhere, replacing her income and retiring her in just three months with that business to a culmination of all our learnings that we packaged into Home Service Academy, which is now on pace to do anywhere between five to $6 million with 15 full-time team members at that company alone and rapidly growing. What I didn't realize was happening was during the five years of grinding and feeling like, man, what is this for? What am I working towards? Should I really be building a window cleaning business? To now seeing the fruits of the labor, taking all of that, being able to package it up and help somebody else earn a six-figure salary completely remotely, not having to go scrub toilets, not having to pick up a squeegee. It was all leading to this business and I just didn't recognize it. And so in this video, I wanna to explain to you guys a few things. Number one, why did we sell orange window cleaning and where we're at right now? Number two, I wanna explain why we even started the window cleaning business in the first place. Number three, I wanna show you why we pivoted to focusing full-time on Home Service Academy and where that company's gonna go. And then number four, where I actually wanna take Home Service Academy in the next three to five years. So to start this out, you probably might be wondering who I am if you're new here, if you don't know our story. Sergio and I started a window cleaning business with literally $150. People love to exaggerate stories and how they got started. Sergio and I really genuinely started with 75 bucks each. We bought a pole, some squeegee, a Walmart polo and we started hitting the ground running knocking on doors selling window cleaning and that was our start right we didn't know about internet marketing we didn't know about any of that stuff hiring other people yet because Sergio and I both come from very very impoverished backgrounds Sergio's got nine siblings with only one parent supporting that whole family on an 80k a year salary I come from a single mom for me my father passed away when I was a sophomore and I really only the last time I seen him was probably nine years old and my mom took care of me from basically when I was eight years old onward she was always working odd jobs, minimum wage jobs, secretary for real estate companies. You get the point, even driving Uber at one point. That's the background we come from. No rich uncles, no rich family members, nobody in entrepreneurship. I had thought you needed a degree to start a business. That's how little I knew about business. So really, when I found out that you could just go and start a business, naturally, I told Sergio, my best friend, we hit the ground running, bought some window cleaning supplies and started going and knocking on doors. And what happened? We made $12 our first sale, right? Took us like two hours, made three bucks an hour, something like like that but it was awesome because it was our business and we made our first dollar on our own and that first dollar you make I can promise you you get a different feeling and once you have that feeling you'll never go back to work in a day job but I digress after getting those first initial jobs we kept continuing to stack our skills first it was just learning how to simply clean windows and then it was learning how to sell the window cleaning and then it was how do we get higher paying jobs right residential customers right not just these little rinky dink storefronts how do we now get into commercial how do we close jobs over the phone, not have to do in-person estimates. How do we hire, right? How do we manage a team? How do we implement the right systems to help us out and save us a ton of time? Even to the point where we bought two business, two other businesses and rolled them up into orange window cleaning as we were growing it and growing it. So even to the point where we had to learn how to go through due diligence and buy a business, right? And I'm just scratching the surface here. I'm not gonna get too in depth there, but basically we literally went from zero to building a team and a company that ran without us. Completely remotely, we could now work from wherever we wanted. It provided us the freedom to pretty much do whatever we want. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like I was some millionaire making all this money, right? Window Clean doesn't have the best margins and I have a partner, so I have to split that 50-50. But still, it gave us enough to do whatever we want, buy what we wanted for the most part, and not have to have a boss. And when we started this, the whole time during the buildup, especially around year three, year four, when we really started to hit the first six figure months is really when we set out the goal to scale this business to $10 million. That was our goal, $10 million, right? But this was before we actually realized that maybe window cleaning wasn't the best vehicle to take to $10 million because at that at $10 million, we would have to have 30 plus trucks running 365 days a year. Each truck probably has two 
guys on it. So you're, ta you're talking anywhere between 40 to 60 employees that you're managing of labor. Happens when one calls out, two calls out, just a massive headache. Really, really hard business to scale to that level and an even harder business to sell because not many people even wanna buy window cleaning companies. After we realized that and that these businesses are, this business is probably not gonna take us to 10 million, is when we started to think about other, other avenues. And this is when Home Service Academy was born right? But before I get into starting Home Service Academy, it helps to know that I started tweeting about building my window cleaning company and how I was running it. And there's a little small community on Twitter called Small Business Twitter or Money Twitter, where there's a bunch of business owners and they just tweet about business. And it's a really cool community. I ended up getting on there, started tweeting. I started networking around, meeting some people. People really meshed with my story and meshed with what I was doing because not many people were picking window cleaning as their vehicle of choice for growing a business. So naturally I built a following over time and people started to get really interested and how we ran these businesses remotely. And so I started giving out free advice, responding to DM, stuff like that. Thought about doing some type of course, didn't end up doing that. And as my following was continuing to build, I came to Sergio and was like, there's something here. We can absolutely do something with this business or do something on the internet. We were running the window cleaning business remotely at this point last year in 2021. And we wanted to start an internet business. So we, we were scheming around, doing some different things. We had a window cleaning coaching offer. We had a marketing agency that focused on reselling Yelp's advertising product. And then I met somebody who would pretty much change our lives. His name's Gino. You don't see him in much of our content, but the man's really behind the scenes. He's our third partner at Home Service Academy. And off of Twitter, me and a couple of my buddies built out a Discord group called Young Bootstrappers. In there, there's a bunch of different channels for each type of business, cleaning, there's marketing agencies, NFTs, right? A bunch of random stuff in there. And we ended up getting that to like 2,200 members and people would, would comment, reply to each other. And I was trying to figure out how I could scale up this Yelp business. So I was messaging around in there, trying to figure out how I can run some YouTube ads. And that's when Gino enters the picture. I started messaging Gino, ended up actually hiring Gino to be my coach. He started walking me through. He basically gave me a zero to 100 masterclass on internet businesses in as little as two months, I would say. He showed us $100 million offers and Alex Hermosi. He showed us all types of different tactics we could use, how to write good hooks, all types of cool stuff that really opened my brain into what was possible on the internet. After meeting Gino and trying a couple more things, we landed on the idea of Home Service Academy, but we're gonna save that for a later time because I'm gonna tell you that story in a second. But basically, to make a long story short, we ended up scaling Home Service Academy to the point where we were getting staff in, we had coaches in-house, personal coaches for every single student that was working one-on-one uh, -on -one with them who came to the program. And so we needed our full-time focus on this business because it was growing so fast. And when something's doing that, you found something good. And so we needed to double down on that. And so we needed to sell the window cleaning company and we needed to sell it quick. Right, so we listed on Biz Buy Sell. We started asking people around who wanted to buy it. We eventually ended up selling it to one of our subcontractors, actually, who has been working with us for over four years in the business. So uh, we were also getting offers on Biz Buy Sell for anywhere between like 200 to 250 thousand. And then we ended up selling our company to none of those people. We ended up selling it to this guy, Victor, who now runs Orange Window Cleaning. We sold it to him for a massive discount, barely scraping six figures on the exit, but we knew he was gonna take good care of it. He had the same values. He wanted to keep the branding. He wanted to continue on what we had already built. And that's really what we were looking for because Home Service Academy was growing so quickly that we couldn't really waste as much time going through proper due diligence with an, a buyer, say on the internet or a buyer that we didn't know. And and we needed to offload it quickly so we can get some time back and really just brain space to focus full time on one business. So you might be wondering, why did we even start the company in the first place, Orange Window Cleaning? Now I touched on it a bit and throughout the journey, we realized we wanted to build it to $10 million a year in revenue. But when you're just starting out, the goal was simple as let's just make some money and see what we can do, right? It was a little side hustle. We weren't taking it seriously. Throughout the time, Sergio took an internship. I took an internship. I had a job at a software company. I was waking up at like four in the morning, working for them for two hours, going to college, Keep in mind, throughout this whole time, I was a full-time college student. I barely graduated in December of 2021. So all this was happening while being full-time college students. And it was a cool way to make money on the side on the weekends, anywhere between 75 to 150 an hour, just for cleaning some windows, right? So it was a pretty
pretty good gig, but it wasn't until the summer of 2019 when we realized corporate's not for us and let's double down and scale this thing up and add employees and, and all that jazz. So the real reason we actually started, we didn't have all this mapped out or wasn't part of some grand plan or vision. It just happened because we put in the work and we continued to grind and grind and grind. Even when stuff was going bad, like COVID hit, whole calendar was wiped out. We had no revenue for two months. We wanted to quit, yet we kept pushing. And sometimes it's kind of what you gotta do. You just gotta keep pushing because one, one day, as long as you believe it, it will happen. Whatever you're shooting for will happen. That was the original reason. But you also might be wondering, why would we pivot to something brand new like Home Church Academy when we already have an established business? So basically the same reason that we left our corporate jobs and started going to work at Orange Window Cleaning full-time and building that, same concept, right? Opportunity vehicles. A job isn't the best opportunity vehicle because you're trading your time for money. Window cleaning is what I would probably give a level one opportunity to because it's something with low barrier to entry. Anyone can start it. It's very commoditized. So you have a little differentiation in the market and it's very, very tough to get to $10 million a year. Whereas an e-learning company, we've got some waves pushing us a lot faster to our goal because one, Home Service Academy is uncommoditized. There's nobody doing what we're doing in the space. Number two, you also have college enrollment rates significantly dropping. What I mean by that is after COVID, people are starting to realize, oh wow, I can go direct to the source now because I've accessed the internet and people are putting out all this educational content. They're making courses, they're making educational companies around specific skills you can go learn in a month, two months and take it directly to the marketplace and make that much more money versus having to go and spend two years doing general education classes. So all that put together along with what we have to offer, which is really, I hate using this word, but recession proof because house cleaning isn't going anywhere. Houses still get clean in the recession. Economy's booming, houses still get cleaned. Guess what? They continue to get dirty, right? People get unhappy with their cleaning companies and the way that we teach the model by using independent contractors and cleaners, you can pay them two to three times more what they would make in a W-2 job. So you provide, it's a win-win-win. Not only are we providing students with a six-figure salary, at least the opportunity to, because they're actually building a business for themselves so they can free themselves from nine to five have more time, be location independent, but also have happy staff that they actually trust to go into their customers' homes all while paying them a very, very healthy salary. So they have good retention on their contractors and their team. And last but not least, we get paid based on the value that we put out and with Home Service Academy, we're providing that much more value because we're uncommoditized, like I said, no one's doing what we're doing, and we have access to all of the United States and Canada that we can sell to, not just our local area in Orange County selling commoditized window cleaning services. All that put together on top of the fact that we can also get a lot more creative. It's a lot more fun to market this business. There's a million different marketing strategies we can still implement and use, and we're barely scratching the surface. I always like to use the analogy, we're barely crawling right now we haven't even walked yet because keep in mind we've only been doing this for eight months but the success we've been seeing from the students has been insane and so as we started to pour into home service academy started to grow and grow and grow doing 20 students a month 30 students a month last month we did 110 plus students in one month on board into the program it's 110 people who chose to make the leap into entrepreneurship and trust me enough to guide them through the process and i take that very very seriously so if i've got people paying lots of money to be in this program right then they need a Chick-fil-A level of experience. And with that goal in mind, having Chick-fil-A level experience, every student that comes on needs to be working one-on-one -on -one with a coach. And these coaches, not we're not gonna just pick up some schmuck off the street and say, hey, this is how you do remote house cleaning. No, we have actual coaches who are in the trenches, in their own businesses, in their own remote cleaning businesses, some of them doing 25K a month, some even more than that. We're adding new coaches from the program every month. And it's really cool to see because you literally have a personal coach that's dedicated to your success. I don't know many programs doing that personally, but on top of that, you've get a lifetime access Access to our support calls which we have one for every department of the business, a marketing specific call run by Gino, the marketing wizard himself, who used to run over a million dollar a year lead generation agency just for home service companies. We have a sales call from the top salesman and the top closer at Home Service Academy, who's also doing 25K a month in his own remote cleaning business, right? Teaching people how to close jobs that call them. They'll do, we'll do breakout rooms so people can do mock calls, bring your call recordings, right? Just these extra layers of support. We've got an operations specific 
the call where we have to have a coach there who just goes through automations and workflows and systematizing the business. Because remember, our ultimate goal here is to help people build businesses, not own jobs. And to do that, we need to get the business to run without them. On top of Sergio and I's two hosted calls a week, we have a call literally every day. They're all an hour long. They're all recorded as well. So even if the students can't make one, they can always go back to the community where we've got 300 plus people, 300 plus different business owners in almost every state building the same business, learning the same exact things as each other, all experimenting on new things. And the coolest part is sometimes those experiments work. So they'll share them back to the community so everybody learns. You get that network effect and you get to see everybody just build a bigger, better business. It's the coolest thing to see. And to see where just we've gone from month one to month eight, coming into month nine now in the business and the rate we've grown so quickly, the sky's the limit. I really don't think there's a limit to how much people we can help with this business because we're constantly pouring into it and constantly adding cool new things. Like we just launched our own proprietary software in-house where it connects all of the lead sources together. You know where they're coming from, whether it's Facebook, Yelp, Google, doesn't matter. We have your conversion rates tracked, sales pipeline built out, a whole uh, four-step email automation sequence, text automation sequence, so you can continue to book customers for recurring. I could keep going, but there's so much cool things we have in the roadmap, which leads me to the last point. What's the vision for Home Service Academy and where am I taking this? At Home Service Academy, we have our mission, vision, and values. Our mission is to build a $15 million company by the end of 2023. That's $1.25 million a month. Why we're going there, why we wanna go there, because we know if we can get to that number, not only are we bringing in tons of new students who are gonna change their lives, but we're also changing the lives of our current students because we can now bring them into our back end where they're closer to us. We're giving them more personalized service with our coaches. We're taking them from maybe 10, 20K a month to 50 plus, right? And so that's when you get to truly life-changing money. Not only that, but our vision right? Why we're going there is because we want to provide every student that comes through Home Service Academy with a six-figure salary, or at least the opportunity to be able to get a six-figure salary through their remote cleaning business remotely from anywhere in the world. This video wasn't made to sell you on Home Service Academy. This video was really made to talk about my journey, where I'm at, and be fully transparent with you guys. That's my ultimate goal. I wish I was making content the whole journey upward, but at least we could start now, and I'd love to take you guys along the journey because I promise you, we're just getting started. So, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you enjoyed this because we're gonna make a lot more content like this. We're putting 10X the effort into our videos. So again, if you really like it, hit subscribe. It means a lot to me and we'll see you guys in the next one. And if you're still watching, you can watch either of these two videos right here and learn all about how we've started and scaled our cleaning businesses with very, very tactical advice on how to do it. I promise if you watch this stuff, you'll have more than enough resources to go off and be successful on your own.